<laughs> now, Mr Speaker, this is now getting beyond the joke. The scenes from a packed PMQs yesterday were simply a disgrace yeah. Yeah, yeah. with barely a face mask on a Tory moosh. The House staff are now getting increasingly nervous and anxious about what they're observing, and it seems like the Tories have absolutely no regard whatsoever about the safety of their colleagues and the staff who are here to support and help us. And the government's own advice states, wear a face covering in crowded and enclosed settings where you come into contact with people you do not normally meet. Now, I don't normally meet any of you lot, and I'm quite happy with that situation. I've got no desire to meet you on a regular basis. And yesterday at PMQs, this place must have been about the most crowded enclosed space in the whole of the UK. And the health secretary the health secretary even excused the Tory no face mask policy, suggesting you can't catch COVID from friends. Isn't it the case that this House is sending the worst possible message to the country and contributing to all sorts of confusion? Will he now be a leader? For goodness sake, put a face mask on! Um, as regards the issue of face masks, the policy is extremely straightforward. Face coverings are not mandatory for members in the House of Commons, the Chamber, voting lobbies, members' lobby and Westminster Hall. The advice of Her Majesty's Government on face coverings uh, is that they are not required by law in the workplace, and the Government removed the legal requirement to wear face coverings in public places in indoor spaces. If you are in a crowded indoor space where you come into contact with people you don't normally meet, wearing a face, car face covering can help reduce the spread of COVID. Uh, Mr Speaker, is it not interesting that the Honourable Gentleman, and perhaps this applies to the Nationalists generally, don't normally meet other MPs? Perhaps this is because they're not very assiduous in their attendance in the House of Commons. But those on my side of the House who are rigorous and regular attendants meet one another regularly and therefore are completely in accordance with the guidance of Her Majesty's yeah. Government. And is it not a pity, Mr Speaker, that some people don't like to come to Parliament? And if they came a bit more, if they worked a bit harder, if they put their elbow to the grindstone or wherever you put your elbow, elbow to the wheel, they might not need to wear face coverings either because they would meet members of parliament more regularly. Yeah.